Good afternoon, clubmates. Uh, today will be our one month checkup with Shi Swensis. Ayan, si Shi Swensis. Uh, one month na sa akin, this one and this one. So, um, we will check kung meron na silang ugat and kamusta na sila. But, um, as far as watering is concerned, I have already started watering her um, siguro mga 50-70 ml na siya every 4 days. So, um, and the sunlight niya would be again here sa second row pa rin siya. So, it gets afternoon sun and morning sun. Wala lang tanghali. Hindi lang direct yung tanghali niya kasi meron siya pang nakaharang sa ibabaw. So, ang nangyayari sa kanya, um, she doesn't get uh, direct afternoon sun pero bright pa rin siya so parang bright shaded siya and then morning and afternoon sun lang yung nakukuha niya ayan so let's go down and check her out tignan natin medyo iaangat ko kahit na hindi dapat no para mak mapakita ko sa inyo yung ugat niya kung kamusta na zoom in na natin ayan as you can see, no, from here pa lang makikita mo na na ang dami ng ugat. Ayan. Eee, exciting! So, makapansin nyo yung wow! Oh my goodness! Roots like crazy! Oh my gosh! And this one is using the, ay, hindi ko na siguro iaangat ng todo kasi makikita nyo naman dito na um, more than enough na yung kanyang leaves, no? Ah, I mean, roots more than enough na roots. And then, gumamit na siya ng isang dahon. So, merong isang spent na dahon here. Ayan. So, dispatch na natin yan. And I will not be lifting her up dahil um, pwede na siyang e-fall water. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, itong leaves dito, medyo wrinkly na siya. Ayan. Pero, yung top leaves niya, very plump pa rin. So, this one is very good. Napakabilis niyang mag-roots, mag-establish ng roots. Um, etong blooms niya, tinry ko lang, uh, in-experiment ko lang na wag tanggalin. So, I kept it because I wanted to see what it looks um, kapag nag-full bloom na siya. Huwag niyo akong gayahin. Pero, kasi ginawa ko lang ito dahil um, abot pa naman. No? Pasok pa siya doon sa panahon na malamig. So, hindi pa naman siya... Uh, stressful para sa mga halaman. Kaya ginawa ko yun. So, let's go to the other one. This one is my five heads shiswensis. Ito rin, no, may blooms pa rin siya. Pero tatanggalin na natin yan. Ipapakita pa rin sa inyo kung paano. And then, zoom in ulit. Let's try to lift her and see. There. Oh my gosh. Roots like crazy. Ayan. Lapit natin. So, ito, pwede na rin siyang, ibalikin natin, pwede na rin natin siyang simulan na i-fall water. So, tonight, mag-fall water na ako sa kanila. Um, pwede na silang bigyan kasi medyo nauuhaw na, no? As you can see, here, no, on this side, oh, medyo wrinkly na yung leaves niya sa, yung mga bottom leaves niya. So, paiinamin na natin siya kasi uhaw na siya. Um... I'm very happy with the new blend of the uh, cultured soil mix 2021. Ito yung, uh, ito yung ginamit ko na cultured soil mix na ginawa ko on the last video. So, I'm very happy with that one dahil roots gone wild talaga siya. Ayan, you can see, no? Lumalabas na siya. Ito naman, this one has been with me for more than a week. No, for a week already. No, a little more than a week. Ayan. So, tignan na rin natin kung meron na rin siya ugat. Meron na rin lumalabas. Ayan. Ayun na. Nag-start na siya. Ayan. So, meron na rin. So, pwede. Ito, i-control daughter ring ko pa rin. Since konti pa lang yung lumalabas sa kanya na roots. Ayan. So, again. Um, ano lang. Konting update lang. She swensis for me. Is, I can categorize her as an easy plant. Um, compared to like the Agavoides, ganyan ano. So, she's when she's update, um, she is passing with flying colors on the first, um, month mark. And hopefully, um, wala akong ma-experience na any issues with her whatsoever. So, ngayon, what we're gonna be showing you guys will be, I'll be cutting the blooms and what I'm gonna do with, um, the bloom stock.
Ayan. So, I got myself some pruning shears. I made sure that I used bleach uh, to disinfect. And then, what I'm gonna do is cut as close as I can from the from the flower or from the rosette. Para hindi na siya mag-take up ng energy. Ayan. We have one, two, three. And there's another one here. So, four. Ayan. So, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to get the leaves from the blooms. And hopefully, we can still propagate that. So, I was able to collect four. Four blooms. And then, let's propagate them. So, we have several um, bloom stalks. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to propagate them by plucking. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to gently... Um, pluck out the leaves without damaging the tip or the base of the leaf and then just put it on top of the soil. I'm gonna be putting this one with my Grapto Petalum Paraguayense um, leaf propagation so hopefully they will produce pups together. Um, this one I plucked only yesterday so they only have a one day difference. Let's see if it's gonna be similar to the uh, ghost plant propagation so if they can follow uh, with the speed so the leaves here are pretty uh, it's a pretty good size so hopefully we can be able to propagate through them so there we go it's just uh, placed randomly so there's no forethought or anything I don't I didn't even want to um, arrange them so let's just see since it's just an experiment and i haven't um done anything with shiswensis i haven't experienced how i um, mean propagation with shiswensis there's not much information about shiswensis anyway so i might as well just vlog this one and hopefully um be able to figure out the plant soon and let you guys know what's uh what's uh the real uh, personality of the Shiswensis. So for this one, this one here, since she is almost two weeks old, I am still using controlled watering method with her and she will be getting 40 ml of water for today. So again, we just put it on the brim of the pot or on the soil just near enough so that the plant um, can detect the moisture in the soil and hopefully create more roots and adjust to the uh, adjust better in her pot on the other hand this one will be getting full watering today there. so we just water uh, every, in the entire pot and this one So there, they got their first full watering today after one month of um, controlled watering. And hopefully tomorrow, I'll check if they have responded uh, well to the water. Um, we'll see now, we'll see if the leaves will turn, I mean, will become plumper. Like this one. Uh, these leaves need to be um, fuller by tomorrow or the next two days. Um, hopefully, we can see a big change with her and we'll, we'll see her more plump or plumper than today. This one. And same with this one. This one is still pretty much, uh, it's still pretty plump. So, I'm not that concerned with her. You can see that her leaves are still very um, uh, hard and firm. So, I don't have any worries about her. So, there. I'll get back to you guys after a week again and hopefully I can declare them um, fully established uh, after maybe two weeks more. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this short video about the Shiswensis. And please, please don't forget to choose to be kind always and see you guys on the next video. Bye! Really knock me off my